Oh my, look at all the snow we got last night. And it looks like the lake is frozen, but I can guarantee you it's not. If <laughs> if you walked out there, you would probably fall through. I think the I think the snow is just sitting on top of the water there. Anyway, let's get to some Naboo goodness. Hello my Nabooers. Today we're gonna take a look at a modification I made to CPM that I think made it a little bit more modern and a little easier to use. So as you can see here in the command prompt, I've added the uh, user area. So for example, if we change the user area to say five, well, <laughs> now you get that. Um, I've also changed the directory layout so that you no longer get the drive letter along the side. Now these uh, changes were inspired from reading a few older Google uh, news posts from like news hosting posts from a long time ago. Back in like 2008, some people were talking about making minor changes to the CCP for that. So when I get a chance to update the, to the next BIOS um, release, then you'll be able to, uh, to utilize this. And of course, the next BIOS release will have paging. And the paging, like I had mentioned in my last video, um, doesn't work in Z88DK builds as of today. Oh yeah, it beeps when you get to the end as well. And also when you're typing, it'll change pages for you as well. And follow the cursor. <laughs> cool. So anyway, back on to what I was saying is that Z88DK builds will not work with um, paging until they uh, fix the BDOS command for STDIO. So let me explain that because there was a, just a few comments about how that works. So when you write a program in CPM, and the reason why CPM is so portable is because it will use the BIOS functions for input and output. And that is also why a lot of CPM programs are always text-based. So you always end up with text on the screen, but no graphics. And there'll also be some sort of rendering like for terminal emulation. So you get um, characters that can move around. But outside of that, you don't have graphics for like example with games and such. Now on certain systems like MSX and Clico, Atom, and uh, well, the Nabu of course, <laughs> being one of them, people have chosen, companies have chosen to use CPM as the base operating system, and then the programs that they build have uh, VDP, so video data processing capabilities built into them. So a program that's made for CPM that works in text base, for example, we had demonstrated um, yesterday, let's use area four, which was Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and then we also have Zork. So as long as these programs are compiled for Z80 CPM, because they're text-based, they will write to the BIOS through the CPM to get information to and from the screen. So they'll work on any computer. And the reason why Z88DK is having some issues is because they had to make a few modifications um, to how their library works for standard in out so that it doesn't talk to the BIOS for input. Now, let me explain what that means. So. When I look at the BIOS here, let's take a look at CPM first. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the, of the CPM source code, you'll get this BIOS jump table. And this is what makes CPM transferable between different machines. So the BIOS will take care of how it writes or how it reads data from the keyboard, how it writes data to the whatever the output device is, and if there's actually any data coming in from the keyboard. So this is check for um, the status of the, of, the, of the input device. This is pause forever and wait for a key to be pressed from the input device. And this is your output from output to the output device. So that would be a display of some sort. Now, when we talk about BDOS commands, so a program that actually runs in CPM We'll use, let's see if I can find it here. I might have to just do a search for BDOS. There we go. So what will happen is a, C, a program that's made for CPM can also do similar things that the, that the CPM can do with the BIOS. So the CPM can talk to the BIOS, 
to input and output, but a program can also talk to CPM for input and output. And you can see all those commands here. So these are program, these are commands that um, a program, which is called a TPA, a transmit, transit program area program, 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 can run, and these are different commands that it can execute. So it can ask for the version number of CPM, it can um, get con, which will get data from the, uh, the, the console, out to the console, get if the console's ready, read the punch card, all sorts of different commands here. So to give you, I guess, a quick overview of how this works, um, you know, <laughs> I love when I get my, my old drawing pad out here, my, my paint. I know you guys love this. So um, you have on your computer, pretty much, I, I would think of it like this way. This is, this is kind of how you can draw it. You have in the middle between a program. So we have a program over here. So we'll call this our TPA. And in here, we have our BIOS. Okay, now, in between the two, we have CPM. Now, if a program wants to output something, let's just say there's a display here, and then there's a keyboard here, this is my keyboard with lots of little buttons on it for you. And a space bar. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. We'll have to also do this, I guess, for the display. And to be era correct, we'll turn this into a, a TV. <laughs> okay, so when a program needs to display something on the screen, what the program will do is it will send a BDOS command into CPM. Now, CPM will do a bunch of stuff with that, and it will in turn take that command and it'll send it to the BIOS, to the BIOS's output. And now the BIOS will do what it needs to do. In this particular case, there's a VDP here, which is a video processor, and it'll send it to the VDP, which puts it on the screen. Now, if you type a key on your keyboard, it goes in your BIOS, but that's it, right? Because it's not going anywhere. Um, it needs to get either pulled, which means that the TPA needs to actually ask for information, or it needs to check for status. So what will happen is a, a program will say, hey, I need a key. I need some sort of input. So I'll first ask this, and we'll change the color. I'll first ask CPM, hey, is there a key in the coming in? And now CPM will ask the, ask the BIOS and say, hey, are there any keys ready to be read? Now the BIOS has two ways to do this. One, it can pull the input device, so the keyboard or whatever it is, and ask for if there's any information. Now generally, a BIOS or a keyboard will have a one character buffer. Now what we're doing, and a lot of other systems do, is there's an interrupt inside of the BIOS. So every time a key is pushed on the keyboard, it pushes its data into the interrupt, and the interrupt will add it to what's called a circular buffer so that when the buffer gets full, it just starts over and repeats. So essentially you have, I think we have 16 bytes of cache inside of the input buffer. Now, when this TPA program asks if there's a key available, it can get it from the input buffer. That makes sense, right? Now, when it needs to read an actual keystroke, like an actual character, It'll do the exact same thing, except rather than asking, like polling and saying, hey, is it available? It'll actually stop forever in the BIOS until a character is, is available, okay? So you have output to the screen, input from keyboard devices. Now what's happening with um, Z, Z88DK is that they're turning off this. And instead, they're trying to speak directly to the keyboard. And I don't mean they're trying, they, they are. And by talking directly to the keyboard, they're bypassing the BIOS just for the input. Now the output's working, but just the input. So our keyboard strokes for allowing the virtual 80, where you can scroll left and right, that exists inside of the BIOS, inside of, the, inside of this area here. So those 
functions are not available when you're running a program that has been compiled for Z88DK because Z88DK program is doing this. So only Z88DK at this moment. So to be compliant with CPM, they're gonna have to stop doing this and start doing this. So talking directly to the BIOS. So that's why for the people, the very few questions that have been in the, in the comments where people say, what did, have you used for the demonstration if the BIOS is not done? Well, I am running programs that were already pre-compiled for CPM that are using the BDOS commands. A newer version of a program that's compiled with Z88DK will not. Okay, I hope that explains it. There's already a thread on Z88DK's forum, so hopefully that will um, get it resolved pretty quickly, and then we can uh, release this new version of the BIOS, and once that's done, you'll be able to do some fanciness like this and the virtual text modes, virtual 80 column text mode, and uh, get hold of the new Telnet that I have, which is really awesome. And I can't wait for you guys all to start using it. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.